All right, so it's been quite a while since I've done one of these talking head type videos, and this one's gonna be very short. Just to say that we really appreciate all of our customers from the past several years. Uh, we've been very fortunate in that our business has continued to grow. Now we're doing more and more manufacturing. We've got some new products launching now and into the end of the year. Also some really nice products coming out in the first two quarters of next year, including some very large test equipment. So if you're in the market for large rock testing equipment, uh, and field geophysics equipment. We've got some really cool stuff coming out as well as some educational products. Uh, but really what I wanna talk about in this video quickly is though we've been very fortunate, we're also out of space. So there's three of us here now full time and we've really been tripping over each other. We also just have too much equipment in too small of a space. Now the shop is not incredibly organized right now because of that. And we're losing a lot of productivity just because we're tripping over each other. We're having to try to find things or take all this equipment that we're working on, put it away um, in almost deep storage just to be able to go on to the next project. Uh, so I wanna do a real quick walk around. Again, the shop's very messy right now, but to show you sort of what the situation is, and hopefully we're gonna have some good news on being able to alleviate the space crunch here in the next few weeks. So this is the view when you first walk in the shop right now. Now you're immediately faced with shelving and we've got tables and poster signs. And a lot of this is related to, we've been doing some uh, live markets, like maker's market type things with our educational products for the holidays. Uh, so that's what a lot of this is. But back in the corner over here, we still have our router that we use for foam. Sweeping around, we've got our incoming outgoing shelf. Air compressor with a refrigerated air dryer. That's a relatively new addition, the air dryer. Uh, our tumbler, injection molder, sandblaster, all that's been here for a while. Scissor lift and forklift, but as you can see, they're also now storage for scrap material and some boxes. And we've got more boxes there. Up on top of this room where we do all of our electronics work, in addition to the HVAC, we've got rolls of packing paper and boxes. We've got our CO2 laser, which we've had for a while here. The fiber laser, which is a new addition uh, there on the cart next to the orange cart. Turning over here, we've got the mill, of course. A drum of coolant, because we don't have anywhere else to put it right now. We've got tooling and soft jaws and collets and things back here behind the laser. Then we've got the Omniturn lathe and tooling for it, as well as our Haas lathe which we haven't really talked much about, but we're very, very excited with it. We've had it since uh, earlier this year. Again, more shelving. Uh, right now we actually have the thermal chamber running a calibration cycle on some equipment, but shelving, shelving, shelving. We've got a squeeze back here between it to get to our calibration chamber. And the welding area is basically just storage for welding equipment. And we have to do that outside on nice days. Our large bench, which has several projects going on right now. Hardware storage, tools, tools. This is our shipping counter. More lathe tooling. In the manual machining area, we've got our manual lathe, two bridge ports. This is a tooling cabinet that we recently built for all kinds of end mills, cutters, uh, vices, rotary tables. Flammables, there's some metal storage over here, some more storage, 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 storage. Storage everywhere. Uh, there's a semi-trailer outside that also has storage in it. And then if we walk into our electronics area can see that we're also pretty much full up in here. We actually can't even use that door. Inventory, servers, pick and place, 
uh, Reflow, 3D printer, which we've talked about in one of our videos. So really, we're just, uh, <laughs> we're very much out of space, as you can see. I said, hopefully we'll have some good news on that uh, here in the next few weeks. But I just wanted to sort of show you uh, what we're working with currently. And thank you for all of your business and patronage. It's made this growth possible and growth is a absolutely fantastic problem to have. We look forward to being able to continue uh, serving all of your needs, both custom and product needs. Uh, as we grow this business, continue to bring you innovative products and help solve your problems that you're having in your labs or classrooms. So thanks, and we'll talk to you on the next video, hopefully with some more exciting news.